Hello, I am delighted to be here today with Jess Manikin and Mark Farrell, who represented the school at this year's European Business Plan of the Year competition at Alba Business School in Athens. And Mark, what convinced you to take part in the competition and wanting to be part of the team that represents the school at the EBPYC? When I first came to Cranfield, I really wanted to push the envelope, and uh, this was an opportunity for me to uh, not only achieve my goal for doing that, but it allowed me to take the key aspects of the Cranfield MBA experience in terms of all the core classes and uh, the, the OB part, so the personal piece. So it was really, uh, I really wanted to have a, a, another more challenging opportunity to really use the the skills that I learned on the MBA, so transferring the knowledge into action, but also learn and apply more of the OB aspects, uh, not only for myself, but then in the group I was in. So it was a wonderful opportunity to, uh, to do that, and uh, I don't regret it at all. Fantastic. Um, if you had to think, Jess, about what are the main learnings for you from mm -hmm. the competition, if you had to think of three, what would you say they are? I think the first learning was the extent to which actually entrepreneurship is driven by the individuals rather than the business idea itself. Um, and we very quickly learned the power of the personalities in the room in terms of engaging with the judges. Um, another key learning was really what we were capable of as a team. So it gave us the opportunity to really push ourselves and see what we were able to deliver. And I think the final learning was actually... Um, in terms of taking a business idea forward, it's not, it's not about looking for the perfect answer, it's about making a decision at that point in time which enables you to move forward. Mm. And actually you can always go back and revisit that decision, mm. but until you make the decision, you just end up stuck, not going anywhere. Mm. Thank you. I mean, Mark, what if you, if you think, what were the three main lessons or learnings that you took away from the competition? It's the three main lessons are one, really have a good understanding of your team, and make sure you have teamwork because your team are going to be there for you when you're down. So we had some people that had to go away or had personal um, commitments they could make. So having a really strong team really pulled us through. So that would be the first thing is the importance of teamwork and the strong bonds. Uh, the second thing I take away is all the learning had an MBA and the power of the entrepreneurship course, but not only that, so as a capstone, but really uh, applying all the knowledge that I learned and then finally for me is really what does it take to to be an entrepreneur and so you have this first taste as a springboard into really um, becoming an entrepreneur and then only so whether you take that as and launch your business or whether you remain within an organization and, and pursue the aspects of entrepreneurship I think uh, to me uh, there's a, a host of key skills that I learned not only from a personal uh, professional development sense but also from the application uh, of the learning on the course so those are things I take away and also the confidence to uh, pursue uh, the business idea itself. If you had to think about you know recommendations for next year's team uh, for Cranfield what would those be? How can they best prepare? Uh, well <laughs> preparation is key I would say so um, it takes a lot more work than you would anticipate to actually get yourselves ready to pitch um, so do as much of that in advance as possible. Um, my other key recommendation would be have some support ready at home to help you. So we were actually mm -hmm. able to call on people to do additional research for us whilst we were at the formal dinner waiting to find out whether we got through to the final and that was really, really helpful. Um, my other key piece of advice would be in terms of that interaction between the team members and you have to be pulling together to actually move forward and there will be times at which you have to say right just stop we're not doing that we're moving forward and there really is no space for ego within that mm -hmm. it's absolutely about bringing the team mm -hmm. to a point of being ready to present and that's that's got to be your key focus. Mark what would you say are your key recommendations for next year's team that represents Crownfield at the EBPYC? Okay so the key key recommendations are build a very strong team so make sure you have a really strong team and the support. Uh, I think going back again to what Jess said in terms of having the network back here at Cranfield, so make sure you have people back. I think the final thing is really be clear about how you create value, what your idea is, and be able to explain your idea essentially in 30 seconds. If you can go up to your grandmother or to anybody in the street and explain your idea in 30 seconds, then you have a really good shot at you know, doing well in the competition, and it also helps you solidify in your own mind what the idea is and what the key 
benefits are to your, your client or, or customer. So I think that to me is a, is a recommendation. Be very clear about the business idea so that you can explain it uh, to anybody, mm -hmm. essentially. I mean, why um, Crownview takes part in the European Business Plan of the Year Commission is very much about integrating knowledge with action. And this is why every year we send a team to EBPYC because it allows the students to apply what they've learned at Crownview, but not only the, 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 the facts like the, the finance, the operations, but it's very much about the personal, the leadership skills, which we focus so much on. So it's very much, I guess, it was the mission of the University of Knowledge into Action.